Welcome everyone. This video is about question 32 of ICAP question bank. We will solve this question in accordance with latest tax law for tax year 2023. Please read the question carefully. You can pause video to read it. You can see that the taxpayer in this question is an individual. Mr. Inodin Khan. After reading first line of question, you can infer that the individual is resident person. Have a look at requirement of question. You are required to compute total income. Our answer format will look like this. Since we are required to compute total income, therefore we are not required to compute this portion of format. We can simply ignore the irrelevant portion of format. Let's fill in some basic information like name, type of person, residential status, and tax year. Make your first working on a separate page. For each head of income, you must create a separate working on a separate page. Let's read the table which contain information about some of the salary components. Nothing mentioned in first three items is exempt from tax, therefore all these three items will be taxable. Mention this information in your working. Question also tells us more about perquisites. Conveyance provided for personal and business use. And cost of car is rupees 1.8 million. Company has incurred an expense of rupees 80,000 on vehicle. The running cost of vehicle is of no use while calculating tax of employee. This 80,000 is business expense of company. You should ignore any such information if given in question. The cost of vehicle is relevant information. We will use this to determine value of conveyance facility. Let's find out how to calculate value of this perquisite. Recall the relevant slide of notes. If you want to revise valuation of conveyance, a link of relevant video can be found in description. 5% of cost of vehicle will be included as salary income. Use the cost of vehicle given in question. Multiply it by 5%. Mention it in your working. Value comes to rupees 90,000. Fill in values in relevant column of working. 90,000 will be included in income. Next item is payments made by company on vouchers. All six items mentioned here are personal expenses of employee, which have been paid by company. Recall notes slide. If any obligation of employee is paid by employer it will taxable. Therefore all these six items will be included in income. Mention it in your working. Next item is pension from government. It is given in start of question that taxpayer is a retired civil servant. Which also means that he is a retired government servant. Recall notes slide. Pension of government employees is exempt from tax. Mention it in your working. Nothing will be included in taxable income, as the entire amount of rupees 80,000 is exempt from tax. Let's make totals. The total comes to rupees 4095885. Our salary working is complete now. Next item is dividend from WAPTA bonds. Please note that this dividend is net of zakat and withholding tax. Which means that rupees 70,000 has been calculated after deducting zakat and withholding tax. Recall slide of income from other sources. You can see the dividend has been listed in items of income from other sources. So this income will be mentioned against income from other sources. Also recall slide of dividend which was discussed under final tax regime. It is mentioned that tax imposed on dividend is final tax. It means the dividend will be taxed under final tax regime. In our answer format, now we can locate where amount of dividend should be mentioned. Yes, very right. It will be in front of income from other sources and right under final tax regime. But next challenge is that we need gross amount to dividend and the question provides us with net amount of dividend. Recall formula we discussed earlier to calculate gross dividend. Put in values given in question. The amount of zakat has not been mentioned in question, therefore it will be taken as zero. The amount of withholding tax has been assumed to be at 15%, therefore a factor of 85 has been used. The gross amount comes to rupees 82353. Now we can move to your answer format. 
Take value from salary working. Which value you think we should take, gross or taxable? Before you decide, let's just have a look at page 44 of ICAP study text. Zoom in to definition of total income. Read the second point of definition, which says the total income includes person's income exempt from tax. Now have a look at ICAP solution book. Pension is exempt from tax and it has been taken as zero in solution. In our opinion, when question requires to calculate total income, then exempt incomes should also be included in calculation on basis of definition of total income. So our figure for salary income is different from the figure of salary income mentioned in solution book. We think you have got the point. So our two final values for salary income and dividend income are done. Let's place them in our answer format. Make totals of these items. Total income comes to rupees 4,258,238. Congratulations! You did it! Your answer is complete now. You can ask your questions in comments section. See you all in our next video.